Hi, my name is Christian Pinedo, and I'm a learning facilitator at the TGR Foundation, the Tigers Charity. Our foundation works with students, families, and teachers to help support young people in pursuing their passions. I work in Anaheim, California, at the TGR Learning Lab, where I teach things like marine science, chemistry, and graphic design. Now, we understand that this is a difficult time and hope that everyone is healthy and safe at home. In light of everything, we're creating a series of short, STEM unplugged activities for you to try at home. We'll be doing these activities together that highlight science, technology, engineering, and math using things that you might already have at your house. Today, we'll be making some rock candy crystals, so let me show you how. All right, to get started, we're going to need to gather our supplies. You'll need three cups of sugar, a small pot, clothespins, skewers, a jar, a measuring cup, a whisk or something to stir with, and anything you'd like to add to your crystals, like food coloring or flavoring. First, we need to prepare our sugar solution to put on the stove. Add one cup of water and three cups of sugar to your pot. When you mix it together, you'll notice the sugar won't dissolve into the water yet. You'll need to add some heat to your mixture for it to dissolve. Put your pot onto the stove over medium heat and mix it occasionally as it heats up. While our sugar solution is heating up, take a skewer and dip it into our solution so that it gets damp. Then roll it in some sugar. This will create some seed crystals for our rock candy. Set it aside and let it dry completely. When your solution begins to boil, mix in the sugar until it's dissolved completely. You'll notice that it'll thicken and become more clear. This is how you know that the mixture is ready. Turn off the heat and add anything you'd like, such as food coloring or flavoring. I'm going to keep my solution clear so that we can see the crystals form. Carefully pour your solution into the jar and let it cool for at least 10 minutes. Then, carefully lower your seed crystals into the solution and use the clips to keep it from touching the bottom of the jar. Leave your solution in a warm, dry place to cool. As it cools, Crystals will begin to form over your seed crystals and maybe along the sides of the jar. This process can take four to 10 days and the longer you let the crystals dry, the larger they'll grow. Check on your crystals every day and watch them form. Once your crystals are done, gently take the skewer out of the solution and set it aside to dry. Use a new jar to hang your crystals in so they can drip and dry over time. Once your crystals are done drying, you'll have a really cool and sweet snack that you made using a little bit of chemistry. These are some crystals that I made. For the red one, I added five drops of food coloring into my solution. You could add more if you want to for a darker color. I let my crystals grow for four days, but what do you think they'd look like if I let them grow for 10 days? Try it out for yourself and find out. So what's actually happening in our solution? Let's take a look at the chemistry behind this activity. All liquids have a property called solubility. Solubility tells us how much we can dissolve something into a liquid. For water, adding heat increases our solubility. So the more heat we add to the water, the more sugar it was able to dissolve. You notice that when we first added the sugar to our water, it didn't really dissolve, and we had a very cloudy solution. When the water started to boil, we were able to dissolve all of our sugar, and it became clear. As the temperature went up, the water absorbed more sugar molecules, creating something called a supersaturated solution. When we let our supersaturated solution cool, it can't keep in all of that sugar, so sugar crystals start to form. We use some seed crystals in our skewer because the sugar molecules like to stick to other sugar molecules, so our seed crystals gave the extra sugar a place to form new crystals. Thanks for joining me in our very first STEM Unplugged activity. Be sure to take a picture of your crystals and tag us on social media. You'll see our handles posted on the screen and linked in the description below. More Summon Plug activities will be posted soon, so be sure to subscribe for more. Until then, see you next time.